city of Fort Worth decided they wanted to shut They're hating on our shine. But you know what? I came through and I was bamboozled into doing another photo shoot today. Bamboozled? I was bamboozled The trickery. And um, that's what happened. By the way, I want to tell you, I like that, that beat you did on that young lady earlier. Well, that was you. me. That was you? Yes. Really? Okay. Yes. And this is the beat. Yes, this okay. is the beat. Okay. The rest of it. See what, yes. okay, now, yeah. We'll take off the glasses. Because so I saw it earlier. Okay, yeah, I like those lashes. I was wondering. Broadway. I saw that. I saw you being shysty with the label. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was leaving a budget beat. Keep my secrets to myself. Like, <laughs> okay. I'll let you know enough, but you know, I can't give all the secrets away. No, not all. I mean, I would have told you off air. Sorry, honey. What it was. It came up now. It was on her mind. It was on her mind while we was on air, but you didn't have to come at me like I wasn't going to tell you what it was. Too bad it was on your live. Oh, well. It was a Broadway number 102. How about that? Yes. I just invited invited someone to come up here and celebrate uh, my birthday with us, and they said, "You have need an ID." Yes, yes, Uh, yes, and a passport. (laughs) Damn it, you probably do. You need an ID ID and a passport. That is so funny. Okay, I'm and a credit line. A big dick and a smile wouldn't hurt either. And a credit score larger than the six twenty. You need three dollars. Oh, bet. So we're lit. You guys, make sure you stay tuned for our letters to the ladies' room. Um, oh, it's going to be scandalous, boo. Yeah, because we're about to get into some very interesting things. You guys, okay, I didn't really tell y'all what I did this week, but I really didn't do too much. I was on vacation because today's my birthday. So I just kind of lounged around the house and enjoyed some deep-needed seclusion, and, you know, deep thought and meditation, and just, you know, reflecting on how I will continue to slay for the rest of the year. So that's basically what I did, and I enjoyed my solitude. Um, I actually lost my godmother yesterday. So oh, wow. Oh, my godmother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that was yeah. definitely so random. Did. You just threw that in there. Right. I, I know. With the celebration, it was just on my heart. I wasn't even going to say nothing. But, yeah, so I lost my godmother um, yesterday. You gained your angel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You didn't lose anyone. And then today's my birthday, but it really doesn't feel like my birthday. But um, I'm just drinking, so I figure in the next hour it should feel like you my built, birthday. You beat like it's your birthday, though. Yeah, yeah I, bet, I beat my face early this morning. You guys. You I know, saw. It was quite start. early. You were out. We went to brunch. Around. Birthday yes. brunch. I, and brunch. you know what? I have we to invited. let all of the viewers know that I was invited this time. You was. Yes. yes. But I had a previous engagement that I had to be a part of. Well, she I didn't really have me. to be a part of. The engagement of. started yesterday. Well. <laughs> she told me. You I know, we always miss your presence, time. Michael. I, That's for sure. I was there in spirit and in truth. We were in a situation ship of get out. Ooh, did y'all oh, need me today? Did you see our Snapchat? No, we didn't no, need you. No, I didn't see them all. Fortunately, I saw, like, the hypnotization the didn't come until we got home. Mm-hmm. We were both comatized after we left this restaurant. Wait, it was, I believe, oh, it was the food was that good? We passed yes, out. But it, we were it, in there. Where, it where's was y'all the going? Inter- Dream Cafe Dream on Cafe. Street. Oh, they don't even it's sound like I can afford that. That is it near, not it's, that's it's near actually really Social nice, House. Nice, nice. It's right around the corner from Social House. It's yes. by Tacos and Tequila and it's a couple of over other little pubs. Uptown okay, Social House sounds like what I could do right now mm-hmm. because but, I'm so hungry. You should go get us some and come back. Yes, girl. We got so. an hour and a half. No, they have a bar. Oh, and we got some oh. juice. We need to be there. Yeah. We need to like be there to revel in Atmosphere. Yeah. So. I gotta Tell decide, you guys. Make sure you guys let us know. I don't know what I want to do after we leave the show. I think it'll be fun to just go have a drink somewhere. Yeah. Um, but if you guys have any ideas, she sure definitely already had a drink today outside of this. One but it's my, her birthday, my, so yeah. One of my random yeah. friends just pulled up. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, I was happy for her, honey, because Keila said she Keila had two oh, she and older than me. <laughs> Yes. Is she? Yes. 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 She's older than me. Yes, I am a boss. I am an elder, so respect. <laughs> yes, 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 ma'am. Respect. Yes, ma'am. I respect all. Thank you. Are my elder. Yes, yes Grant T.I. Respect you. Yes, uh, Signori. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Grandma, yes. <laughs> but no, it was, it was 
really it was <laughs> really like how many months? How many months? Probably like three and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Look, Keela was just barely rolling over, picking up her head when Michael was coming out peeking. Okay. That's all that happened. Gary, you got three months. Meanwhile, and, uh, I was <laughs> running around. Trying to change hell. diapers. <laughs> Causing hell already. You got yeah. three months. Bossing everybody around. Yeah. Like 14 days. Okay. But that's the three point is. 14 days. The point is that you were here and you were progressing before I was. So, with that being said. Shout out to me. Respect. Much respect to you. Mm-hmm. And I do look forward to mm-hmm. getting instructions from my elders. That's what you do. I will guide you. Mm-hmm. Just. I'll be here. I'll, Are you here? Oh, I've been Let me try attention. that juice, please. Yes, it, the is. Juice. it appears this that I'm like out of my original concoction. It's some sort of something. That's what it looks like. It's actually like a sunrise. It's a pomegranate grapefruit mix. Is it very grapefruity? Drops Extra of love essential oils. And essential oils <laughs> and almond extract and coconut Not juice. Not almond and coconut juice. No. <laughs> I was about to close my cup. No, open the cup. Open the cup. God has got something for you. My original concoction okay, is gone. Oh, it's filled with ice. It smells very deliciousness. Is it the weed? No. Jesus, I, well, Jesus, Jesus. I don't know. I'm just saying she said that she's a uh, Montana. Somebody smells, smells Montana said that she smells. Very reforestation yeah. for the nation. I smell shore. like Gucci Guilty. And well, I smell like product. It was said I that smell it smells like YSL smell very ultimate for a woman. Aroma rific. It was around probably, these parts. It may have been the hood. Not necessarily in the studio, it but may, maybe around these parts. It Definitely may in the building. Have been a those hood 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 or the hood rats. <laughs> that I was Damn. Oh my god. Prior to uh, Oh that my god. Oh my god. That tastes good though, tequila. That's that tequila, yeah. The specimens. Can we just call them specimens? Do they have to be hood rats and hood rats? Okay, we'll do that. They were definitely mm-hmm. probably taken downstairs. Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, that's what black people be in things. That's what black people do. Like after Don't events and stuff, they like to hang around. Just thanks. That's all. Just stand around and you know. They, just they don't there. stand up in it though. They don't. Because oh, when you look at them, that's not what the show's way. about. So, Michael, have you saw Get Out? Have I what? Have you saw Get Out? Have I what? Have you seen the movie Get Out? Shit, I don't know what the hell she just said. Uh-huh. Three times in a row. Oh, I'm sorry. You faded. Did I see Get Out? I'm not low. faded. I just didn't understand. First of all, I don't know why people are calling me in the middle of the show. Um, yes. No, I have not seen Get Out. I don't want to see Get Out. Why? If you don't pick up, I just call one. Because I still got to keep it real cute. Aight, aight, Is this a threesome moment? Is that what's happening? But there were only two of you. Oh. And you. Well, we, we went into Well, I, I wasn't a part and nobody gave me my notes for the background music. So. <laughs> yes, me and Bello actually got in the studio, too, while we were on hiatus it's, it's from the show. It's available. It's not available yet, but we were in the studio. We have a new record coming towards you called Savage. Oh, <laughs> okay. Savage for Savage like 17. Savage. Am I doing a styling for the video? Thank savage you. Great. Great. Awesome. Yes, so glad I was I'm looking fire. forward to that. Oh. <laughs> Our other stylist was fired. She was in charge of all the fire. Advertently, inadvertently, fire. <laughs> I'm in yeah. charge of all the fire. Hired and fired. How did you do it? All I do is the overseeing so, of the fire. But I'm going to leave that I'm to I'm going to need you to drop that flash drive off. We definitely talk about. I'll see you later. It's been fun. We're about to, what did you say? We're about to get home. We're about to hang out. We're about to hang out. I right. usually right. like to be able to be, you know, on the back side. This is how, like, how she was fired. <laughs> And then she'd be like, okay. you are the You're weakest one goodbye. <laughs> oh, and then no. I don't have to look like the bad person. No, because when you have someone that kind of understands your perspective, it makes you feel like you're not crazy. It's crazy when you're uh, yes. when you're consistently yes. arguing yes. with people to convince them, like, do you not get what I'm saying? But when you meet somebody that gets what and you're saying, it's like, okay, you're right. I'm not dealing with the shit. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... We needed to click. What happened? I think I give people too many opportunities. Y'all so tell Shaquille happy birthday. When other people are able to make me feel like I'm not crazy. Because sometimes I feel like I can be crazy. You know what I mean? I so definitely know what you mean. So it's good when I have someone I else on the same page. Because it's like, we can't all be crazy. Shit, no, we might no. be. But generally speaking, but we everyone is crazy, really. Everyone is crazy. It's normality that's unusual. 
do you know that you're breaking? I know yes. that I have. Okay, that's moments. all that matters. That's all that matters. I know that I have those moments. No, 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 nope. I don't want to no. accept that you're no. crazy, that you love your that's crazy, not, that you have a passion not, for it. That's not what that's I asked what you. <laughs> do you I know? You, she said yes. Do you know? No. She said, I said, do you know that you're crazy? You said, yes, I know that I have those moments. No. Do you know <laughs> that you're crazy? There's a difference between being crazy and having crazy moments. I'm crazy. Oh, I okay? agree. I'm crazy too. I'm legit. Yeah. Cool, but what cool, is cool, crazy? Cool, cool. I think what that's a relative term. But see, I think that what I, think the term is might need a little bit I think that what we think is crazy is actually character. normal and character and personality, personality and individualism and bra- bravery when it comes to expressing Bella's yourself. Crazy. And that's I think that normality to just go with the flow, get along, get along, go along to get along, it and makes crazy people seem like they're normal. And but they're frustrated in their lives crazy. because it's not what they, they really want to do. What's amazing yes. is how we just all vibe <laughs> on the same yes. level of crazy. Maybe that's yes. what it is. It's the artistic you right. of crazy. Maybe that's what it You're is. You're creative. Very much so. Then it makes you crazy. You're slightly and emotional. off kilter. And emotional. Yes, emo. There's nothing wrong with For being sure. emo. Embrace well, why your she emo. Have to break it down to a term in which sounds crazy. You got that emo. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. Like that emo. That emo. You got that emo, girl. Yeah, okay. that's all. That's good. That's why, no, I'm hella emotional. We're going to so. make t-shirts. Emo. I'm just a little emo. You know what? But that's actually something that I think is very interesting because in like the black community, we don't really like to recognize no. certain things. Well, because the word like, crazy has been associated crazy. with the negativity that can come yeah. with crazy. But that's uh, not what crazy means. It's just, that's why I said, what's y'all definition of it's crazy? It's not normal. Because, I guess it's not, generally speaking, it doesn't so go who's, with the societal who's damaged, norm. Who's damaged a, a car of a significant other? At any point in your life, never did I ever. Okay, Michael has hit the bell. You have damaged a vehicle or I personal have property. I have my name across the Range Rover. Okay, yeah, I'm, so I'm glad that you said it. Was property. It. What about of, not necessarily okay. car? Instead of actually us, you know, admitting what we've done, we're just going to play Never Have I Ever. And if you've done these things, you you're just, just drink. drink because I don't okay. think we want to expose. Well, then I need to find a way to find. Do we need a? I need a. I did what I did, and I stand up with everything. I did what I did. I did what I did, and I said what I said, and I'm going to stand up in it like I always do. Yes, I got mad as fuck because an ex of mine and I got into a huge heated argument. Yes. In the parking lot I to of the Northeast Mall, Mall North outside East Mall, of the movie, that's, that's in Fort Worth, uh, off County. of 820 yes. and Pipeline. Okay, yes. we got Pipeline into a heated argument. There out. was no fight. No, we were already out of the movies by this point, honey. We were in the parking lot. My phone went out. This is like one o'clock in the morning. We caught the last feature. You know, it was one of them you long ass. Yes. You know, you go on a date. You go to the long movies and yeah, you have a good is, time. No, yeah, we don't. We didn't, we didn't do any of that. We had a good time. We watched the film okay. until further notice. So then I got outside of my phone vibrating. Now I have to give you a little bit of a backstory. Okay. The Prior backstory. to this date, we had a conversation about me not wanting to be in this relationship anymore. Okay. Okay. Yes. As far as I was concerned, we were not in a relationship. At this point, it had turned into a situation ship because the specimen decided that he wanted to continue to buy me things specimen. and take me out on a date and, and take me to have a good time and eat food and, and go to movies and things like that. Am I supposed uh-huh. to turn that down? No. no. All right, then. I'm going to have me a good old time after I've been to work all week That's or school like or whatever I was doing. turning down a bone. That's yes. exactly what it is. Or a homeless person turning down a free meal. Why would you do I that? I don't understand. Anyway, like so my it. phone went off at like 1 o'clock in the morning. He decided he wanted to get upset because he didn't understand why the phone was going off. All of a sudden, mind mm-hmm. you, we're not in a relationship anymore. It's not this your business what my phone does. This spe- and it didn't pay my fucking bill, so even if we was together, you shouldn't be concerned about what's going on on this phone because you don't pay the bill. And that's a mm-hmm. fact. Okay? Anyway, so he decided he wanted to get mad. He wanted to go through my phone. Oh, you cheat on me. I don't think I'm cheating on you because we're not together. And I got a headache, so you need to calm down. <laughs> but he kept on going. He told me, I cannot see the phone. I was like, sure, because I don't have nothing to hide. I don't have nothing to hide because we ain't together. Mm-hmm. So, so what you find is what you find. And what you, you found, and you, you found what you was looking for. <laughs> mm. How about that? 
Uh-huh. Anyway, did he catch you outside? He caught me outside. Damn. Bitch. Damn. He broke my fucking phone, shattered oh. the screen and everything. Because he was mad. No. I was like, and okay, nobody you know can, what, that's fine. If he can't have you, then nobody. That's, 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 that's what he said. That's what he said. Very serious question. Okay. So I woke up point, the next morning. What did you do? I let did you go. windmill? You let I didn't. Go. No, I didn't windmill. Oh, mm-hmm. I was just like, this motherfucker done broke my phone. I rolled with him, so I didn't really have a ride <laughs> home. <laughs> so I was phone. like, you know, you had to play phone. I'm like, nigga, take me the fuck home. <laughs> but how do you ride in the car with someone who has you hurt you in this way you and don't. broken your he phone? Hurt me. How do you? He broke my phone. That hurt. I was in another place, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, like okay. I said, I really did have a headache. I had a migraine, so my mind was elsewhere at the moment. Mm-hmm. But when I woke up the next when morning... When you came to. And I came to, and my screen was yet still shattered. Mm-hmm. And it was not a dream. The covers went one way, my body went another. Then I grabbed a trash bag, stuffed everything inside of it that he ever bought me. Yeah. He, he gave me a really nice Christmas this year. When I mm-hmm. tell you it was really nice... I thought this is racist. It, no. It was very much this so in my here. high school years. Oh. No, I was in cosmic school. Anyway, it was particular. Um, it was a real nice Christmas. There was there were there were clothes. Mm. There the was cologne. There was jewelry. Mm. There were cards. Mm. All kind of little. Oh, we had went some bags with like secure. little pictures and stuff. Mm-hmm. The pictures were everything. Honey, I secured the bag. Yes. And I dropped that bag off along with a little bit of lighter fluid and a lit cigarette yes. in front of his door. Yes. Oh God. Like a flaming bag of poop. And then I dropped dropped it off. Okay, left eye. And I walked away. But I was in such a rage Mm -hmm. that it didn't click to me that sir. You burned your shit. There, no, not that I burned my shit. I don't give a fuck about burning my shit because it was his. He bought it as far as I was concerned. You're going to feel the burn, feel my rage. His money burn. But it didn't click. That you sick, stupid arsonist, there was a bottle of cologne in the bag. Oh, that's cool. So you know once the heat and the flames and all that. (gasps) It was fireworks outside of that front door, and it almost set that, that whole building on fire. Oh, this so, been on Channel 8 News. Honey, this was like, yeah, 45 minutes went by, I get on my door. Oh, I'm like, you know what, you need to back your motherfucking I was washing dishes like a real crazy bitch at this point. <laughs> With I Clorox? Was, no, it wasn't no Clorox. I was you just, just put in the no kitchen Clorox washing in dishes. Sitting up there, I had the blinds tweaked just mm-hmm. enough for me to see his shadow at the front door, and he banged it. Let me in, let me in. Why the fuck would you do that? I'm just laughing at the sink, washing dishes. Oh my. I kick in the high hey. and he's let me in. I'm like, I'm not coming to the oh. door. And I know you hear me talking to you. Get the fuck away from my door before I call the police. Oh, you don't have juice. any proof. You don't have any proof. Oh, there's juice going. There's juice. So that was my moment. That was the. He later played for the Indianapolis Colts and for oh, the San Francisco 49ers. Yes. You don't get a man name. A ratchet, yes. He was a ratchet, yes. He was a ratchet son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> because I was young, you know, and he knew that I was gullible and would fall for anything. So you were young and dumb. Yes, I'm young and dumb. And dumb girl. girl. And and full of girl. Come on. Ah! Come on. My God. Young girl. Young, dumb girl. Jasmine <laughs> Sullivan right created that song based on the example. So what happened? Said. What happened? Okay, so. Wait, Jasmine. Wait. Jasmine Sullivan, the song Dumb yeah. Girls. Oh, I was the one. No, no, dumb girl. girl. No, you dumb must girl. be dumb. dumb. Yes, because I, I am. Yeah. And when he said, Are oh, you dumb? dumb? Yes, right. I was you dumb. dumb. <laughs> yes, I was the dumb bitch. Yes, mm-hmm. that was me. So, this is what happened. I was uh, a senior in high school. I believe he was a sophomore in college. He was playing football for TCU. And he had a, 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 a whole girlfriend. I didn't, the moment you realize you're the side chick, this is the moment. And I didn't like being the side chick because Hell I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm A1 top quality. I'm going to be um, the side chick when I want to be. I'm like the thing. So you don't mind being the side chick? Because if I choose to play that position. If, if you know, choose, if you had the option, it was presented to you, and you had the choice. option to choose. So in I the ladies' room, we are standing up in the fact that we want the choice. Not that we want, but if we you want the choice. No, let me finish. Let me finish. In the ladies' room, we are standing up in the fact that we don't mind being the second bitch side if we bitch. choose. If the choice is given to, uh, to us to decide. Yeah. And the, the individual that we're choosing is worthy. You, they're going to fuck with you. If you are yes. worthy of me fucking with you and it's a beneficial situation. First of all, 
So is that why homeboy just felt the need to just go ahead and throw it at me to be friends with benefits? I, yeah, probably. No, let me tell you something. Because people, it gave there's you the a certain thing. Choose. There's a certain thing as being like people say, "Oh, you're a side chick because they have a main chick," right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In my personal opinion, side chick is based off of how you're treated. If you're treated like a side chick, meaning can't answer at certain times or nigga only giving you side chick benefits or But you may not know that you're a side chick. No, what I'm saying, if you know. If you, like, for the ones who mess with men who they knowingly know they they got a woman or they're married or they got a woman or whatever long term relationship. You never get holidays. If that man is giving you runner-up motherfucking benefits, then yeah, you are a side chick. But if you're treating me equal, you pay my bills, you buy me whatever I want. For exactly what are runner-up benefits, because I have recently been very confused. When you don't get holidays, when you are not primary, when that man is you're, skipping home else. to stay with you yeah. or not going home because he want to make sure that that day is special for you, Ooh, then honey, the you're not the side chick. The has been planted yes. in my camp. You may not yes. be the side chick. Because she might be climb the that tree side chick. and build your house. I'm going to climb I mean, the tree honestly, and build my like house. Like I said, because... you have to go off your vibe with that person because you may they may be in a situation, but you don't know what that situation is. And it really, you'll never know. Like, mm-hmm. I've been approached by married Personally, men over married. my years. Can I just say that I've been and playing people all this know. time and I have never been played and I think I just got played. You will play. Every player Ooh, has been played. Ooh, I'm standing up in the fact let's, that I've been played. And if you're listening, I, have I just want a you to know you that you more years you. of experience in the whole dating arena <laughs> and a few more um, failures. So the best experience teacher mm-hmm. is failure. Experience is a good teacher. Hey, it come takes on. someone like me to know. Yes, Mickey Howard. All of the little Stand games that people it. tend to play. When you are the side chick, you may not always know that you're the side with. He, yes. You may not know that you're the sideline hoe. You, in the words of Monica. Oh, yes. Oh, you may not know. Give it to us. Yes. <laughs> yes. You may not know that you're the sideline hoe. And y'all, I didn't know that I was the sideline hoe. First of What? Pros? Y'all know it was daylight savings. Yes. Yes. yes! We love yes. the whole hour. Yes. That's but why you it's gained, still sunlight outside. Sunlight yes. Until 8 or 9 o'clock. Yes. Turn the lights off. Turn them off. What time is the break? Turn the lights off. You don't know that you're a sideline. You don't, you, don't know nec- you, you don't necessarily know that you're a sideline chick. Oh, the light got better. Yes. Let's let's fix that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Like so y'all listen, listen to this damn story. Okay. Well, y'all ask me to tell a story, they don't cut me off. I'm sorry. We have short. The hell you sorry? Not I'm sorry. sorry. We have short attention span. I know. <laughs> and I do too. But I, I need to be where y'all are. I don't have okay. kids. Okay. So Recently you did not know that you were the sideline. I didn't know. I did not know. Okay. So what happened? How did you find out that you was a sideline? I'm trying to tell the mother. Okay. I'm trying to get us back on track. How did you find out that you was a sideline? I'm on it. Do y'all want to know? You got okay. text messages? No. We, okay. This was before text messages, honey. Think about it. I said I was in the 10th grade in high school. Okay, so let's be great. Let's see. Okay. Phone in. So what happened was I went to the university to visit my man at my lunch break from high school. Ooh. Unexpectedly, a little drop-in visit, an impromptu visit. We do pop-ups, boo. Yes, boo. we were doing pop- pop-ups in 88. This was in 88. See, that's my point. This is how you find out when you the sideline home. How do you find out, Martin? Okay, so what had happened was, <laughs> while we on Snap, why do you love this? So yes, what happened was we went to the university. My friend and I, we took our lunch. We were cutting class, and we went to the university. We drove up to TCU. We go to the football dormitory. And everyone there, all his homeboys know that me and him are together, you know? So they're all standing around they and they're looking, right. They also know that I'm the sideline hoe. Everybody know I'm the sideline hoe. Everybody side know but hole. you. Everybody but me. So I get there, go into the dorm, and as I'm going towards his dorm room, I keep getting this barrage of different players saying, hey, you should come and kick it with us. Hey, they're trying to deflect. Trying because to they think me. that you a hoe for everybody or they're no. trying to help their homeboy out? Oh, they're trying to help their homeboy. Oh. Because it's a girl in his room. See, see why these hoes is for everybody and, and you name, can't trust nobody? The girl's name start with a T and end with a Bogotha. Tabitha. Come on. I didn't say that. And so... 
I get there and I'm knocking on the door like I would normally do when I would go to visit, right? And he won't open the door, but I hear scrambling and scuffling. This is a college dorm. This is not a, a five-star hotel with insulated walls. Okay, you know what I mean? It's TCU. And I hear okay, what's going on Texas in that Christian damn room. University. And I hear scuffling and scrambling and and, and ationation going on. There's mm. some oh yeah, scrambling. So exactly. So he cracks the door open. Stone. But we're talking about six five, three sixty is an easy estimate of this size of this man. So his crack is basically the door fucking open. The door cracked is mm -hmm. open, but I can't push past him because he's so he's big. So big but he's a freaking wall. Basically, you cracking but I can the door and opening the door. Yes, right. I can see movement because he's going so big. along no, behind professor. him, lights and dodging of bodies moving and. Of uh, scrambling and sounds, so was I, she a big bitch too? No. Can you stop talking so she can tell? Please, because it's making it very difficult <laughs> for me to get to the story. <laughs> I'm just to get my I'm so, I'm so, <laughs> Yes, right. So I, some kind of way, I'm able to get past him, and by that time, she's trying to go out of the window. We're on the second floor of a dorm, mm -hmm. college dormitory, mm -hmm. and she would rather go out the window than to face me. Well, she was a little short girl, and I was as tall as I am now, and he was trying to deflect and block, so I started throwing his electronics, and back then, it was like a boom box and shit. It wasn't like real electronics, like an iPod or nothing. We didn't have phones, mobile phones, so I'm throwing boom boxes and shit out the window and lamps and shit out of the window. So the scuffle occurs or whatever, and she gets away, and that's how I find out, yeah. Okay, so wait. Half dressed out the window. But so she was his main was chick. Understanding that he was a big guy or whatever, but why were you attacking her? No, because you're thinking 10th grade. You're not talking about grown ass woman now. No, I'm just thinking. You're talking about 10th grade like, thinking. You trying to fight an adult woman and you in the 10th grade. Well, no, she was an adult woman. She was probably maybe a year older than me. Maybe, she was in college. She was maybe a high school senior or a freshman oh, in so college. He was just so, getting out of fresh meat. He right, but this was his long term girlfriend who he had been with Through while he was in high school. Then, Wait a minute. The girl who did his homework and shit, the one that stood by him. When he was going through his football training Ooh, and all that shit. Who were you supposed to be? I if was she was the main chief, chief, why was she going out the fucking window? That's what I never understood. Because if I was a side chick, you stand up in it. You stand there and face whatever the situation well, maybe is. She just but I maybe think she, she was, was afraid and yes. it was the situation was she didn't know. Situation. Yes. And she you know, didn't know exactly what was going on. In 2017, we're a lot more used to side yes. chicks side niggas. We do that a lot more. In the 80s, it was kind of taboo. Yes. Like yes. And at my <laughs> age, I, I really wasn't it. ready for all that was. I didn't know that I was supposed to go after him at that point and not after her. See, that's why I didn't start fucking until I was over 18, because I didn't want to be crazy over no man. Yeah. I don't know that I was crazy over the nigga. I was enraged over the audacity of like the God. person that would do that. I would have right. been more mad that I wasted my gas going up there. I mean, well, see, and I was, I would, you I know, I was like, riding oh, with somebody. Hey, boy, are you, what number are you? What position you Exactly. Like? Right. Exactly. exactly. Make a new friend. That yeah. came yeah. later. That came right. later. No, because someone had like to somebody, console me right. in my like somebody, distraughtness. That's what I'm saying. I never wanted to experience, you know, I've, I've had my share of heartbreaks, but I never wanted to experience that. Um, again. Well, I set all his shit on fire after that. All of his TCU. Oh, parents. so you did what I did? Yes. And you were sitting up here talking about well, me, but you're not standing up in it. No, no, no. I, I didn't get a chance to stand up in it because you took it and ran and with it. Brown. What happened was. Okay, so hold on, hold on, pause. No we, we need to move on. on. Okay, no. so moral of the story is y'all setting shit on fire. Yes. Okay. Pyro. Got what it. What did you do? Got it. I've said a lot of things. Did you bleach it? Did you get him on style like Blue Cantrell? No. The worst thing I probably done. You wrote done, your name on a uh, Range Rover. That wasn't the worst thing I've done. That was the most flying shit I've ever done. Um, my baby daddy, he had upset me on, uh, I think it was Memorial Day or something. We went on a, he, basically, he upset me without knowing and then tried to deflect and invite who later bit what turned into his girlfriend um, to a boat party, not knowing that I was the plug, and I showed up to the boat party and flexed on him so heavily that he didn't even get on the boat. So him and the girls scurried on about their business. I went and enjoyed the boat life, 
came back, and then when I was on my way home, which was with him, I called, I mean, he called me, and he's like, I heard you was on a boat with so-and-so and so-and-so. And I was like, did you know? <laughs> I saw you walking off into the sunset with so-and-so. And he was just like, man, all we did was get something to eat. I'm like, I don't care what you did. I had a good time. I hope you did. You know, you proved your point when you didn't invite me to the boat party, but you invited this girl. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, on the way there, on the way back to the house, he basically was just cursing me out. I was cursing him out. We're on the phone. I'm flying down 35, leaving Lake Louisville. And I pull up to our building downtown, and at the time, I had a white E350 Mercedes Benz. He had a silver Range Rover. And I parked on the side of the building, and um, he parked. So he was like, get your shit, get out. Mm-hmm. They're trying to do some kick me out type shit. So I was like, oh, okay, sure, no problem. I can leave. It's not a problem, whatever. And um, <clears throat> in the process of that, of course, I'm mad because he's telling me to get out. So I pick up a rock, and I pretty much just throw it at his car. And um, he was, it, it missed. It's okay. But the rock missed. Uh-huh. So then I, I got I picked up another rock and I walked up to his to his truck and I literally wrote Bella in cursive really really pretty it was so pretty I bet it was. oh my god it was I, yeah and he was like what the fuck and so after he said what the fuck he was like man he he was on some fuck that shit ain't shit but a paint job Ooh, you know so I was like whatever fuck you so I hopped back in my car <laughs> this nigga was crazier than I as soon as I put my shit in drive bitch ram he, he fucking ran into ran my into motherfucking shit car took off my um my side he ran into the side that I was on like, he was ass. trying to kill me and took off my my rearview mirror and sped off so we was on like literally a 30 second high speed chase I say 30 seconds because so quickly the fucking bad bitch in me quick clicked in and I was like why the fuck am I chasing this nigga the fuck? I'm she not said, "Thirty seconds, I be chased." Thirty <laughs> seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> the rage. Y'all don't sure realize in reality game. how crazy that that looks. <laughs> it and was very quick. Imagine. It was like, oh, this motherfucker just hit my car, and then I yeah, literally. Yeah. This is the chain of events: car and drive. <laughs> Yes, mm-hmm. it takes about point five seconds to get that car to do what you wanted to do. Anyway, he probably already halfway on his mission yeah, down the he road. Was, he was hauling ass. As soon as you get your car done jerked, a couple times. okay, a couple times. Now you back, you you catch up to him, you behind him, <laughs> and, then, you and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, this don't make no motherfucking sense. Yeah, no, we can't exit and go home. So, <laughs> I I get somebody to come pay so you went on a high speed I conveniently just called speed. my friend that I was on the boat with and was like, hey, you know, I just got into a, you know, he was like, oh, no problem. Pay for me a room for the night, so I figured out my, my okay, emotional distress. But you went on a high speed chase at the parking lot. It wasn't a parking lot, you but know. I'm just the, basically, yeah. In retrospect, when I got to like the second stop sign is whenever I realized I'm stopping for stop signs. So a I'm clearly not. Shit. Stop signs. <laughs> he wasn't stopping, bitch. He was, out of, there. He was out of there. So I mean, that was that was probably one of the like funniest crazy moments I had, and then I probably had another crazy moment where I waited until this guy that I was dating in Tampa he left. He kept leaving me in the house. I was new to Tampa. I hadn't been there long. He kept leaving me in the house, and I was like, hey, look, I want to go back home. Like, buy me to get home. What the fuck? Like, I don't understand how I take it. He go kick it with his boys, play dominoes and shit. So this day, he had, like, a driver's um, course or something he had to go take. He was getting his license back, you know, dealing with the thugs. Mm, and, uh, yes. and so he was like, um, Ain't no love when I the get there the is when you'll go somewhere. And mind you, he had multiple cars. So, bitch, you just not leaving me the keys. He was really having me on some, like, in the house. He didn't want me to be in the city mm-hmm. getting my wings wet, you know. No, so, girl. yeah. Nothing was to get wet. Yes, nothing. So, I decided that, okay, mm-hmm. you're going to leave me in the house. I looked at the time. I texted him. Myself. I was like, okay, babe, well, what time are you going to be finished with your class? He was like, 6 o'clock, and I'll be there around 7. I was like, okay, bitch. I got both of his luggages and mine, put all of his name brand shit, all of his shoes, all of his belts, all of his jewelry. Blue trail. I even took his. You hit him up I hit him up stout. I even took his to pistol out of his drawer and his extra clips. He lived where he lived in the, behind his house was like a lake or whatever, like a little uh-huh, personal lake. Uh-huh. And I you knew that mother. I knew I couldn't get on the flight. See, I had my own money. So after I packed those bags with those extra luggage fees. I absolutely then went to the backyard because I knew that I couldn't take that pistol with me and I threw it in the water. Like, 
and yeah, it out there. twirled on twirl. oh, oh, twirl, twirl, twirl. And I called a taxi because Uber wasn't popping then. Right. And I called a taxi, and I was nervous as the fuck. And yeah, I took laptops. I took everything I could possibly take. So you don't went down to the plane and got you a plane ticket home. Yeah, I went on home. What did and you say? Girl, right along. let me tell you, <laughs> this was the funniest shit ever. Because, of course, I changed my number, right? Wait, just before you finish, does anybody want the rest of these Go ahead. Eat the, okay. eat the beans, girl. Eat the so beans I changed my number on the process to the plane so he couldn't have my number. And whenever I landed back in Dallas, Texas, mm-hmm. he called my sister. Because he, he knew my sister. And he was like, y'all know the for people talk funny. So he was like, man... Better than took all my shit, man. Oh. <laughs> and my sister was like, I don't know anything about that. I haven't actually talked to her. And he was like, man, where my pistol? He was like, fuck all that other shit. Where my pistol, man? And my sister said, I don't know how to talk to her. So when I finally got the nerve to talk to him like six months later, I told him maybe one day we may go into drought and he'll find his pistol at the bottom of his little personal lake. You said we'll go into the drought. We'll go into drought I'm maybe done. one day. Florida does have drought season. Yeah, when it doesn't rain. It rains a lot in Tampa. But yeah, that was probably one of the craziest things I did. Like, literally took all this nigga shit. Like, everything. But he didn't What did you do with the stuff, though? Stuff. What did I do you with it? You hit his ass up style for real. Did you sell it? No, I didn't sell it. I just gave it all away. Oh, no Angela Bassett moment. She didn't hit I it didn't. Stuff. I, I gave all that shit away. She had no feeling like being free. Mm. That's, I want to be free. Stuff. Okay, well... We're going to take a five-minute break, and we're going to come back with our hot topics. Um, the hot topics or the letters, folks? The hot topics and then the letters. Ooh, y'all. Mm-hmm. We're going we're to warm it up, then we're going to do it. Um, and then we'll go into our live audience discussion. Which I don't know if we decided what it's going to be about, but we'll let you guys know. Maybe the live audience can help us decide. Yeah, hopefully they can. Exactly. All right, you guys, so give us a little... Um, Five minute break, we're gonna come back with our hot topics, then our letters to the ladies' room, and then our live audience discussion. Somebody needs to bring me a cake, so if you're in the area, mm-hmm. 1910 Pacific Ave. That's where we at, boom. Cool I was bonus. supposed to bring Shaquille a cupcake. Yeah, I'm definitely still gonna, yeah, I just, it's cool. Asleep. I was coming back. Girl, me too. I'm dead at this. So make sure you guys um, tune in, grab a snack, and come home back. <laughs> and I'll buy you some beans, minutes. though. Yeah, the beans. Beans, beans, beans that make her dance. 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 Man, yeah, no, I went and bought the cupcake mix. Cream cheese ice icing. And everything. And I told Maya, I said, Maya, we got to put, um, we got to make tequila these cupcakes. Bitch, I got home. And Sydney was like, Mommy, you back, Mommy? Do you, you play with Play Doh? Because I stopped and bought her a Play Doh set because I knew I had to blackmail her when I went to work again. You so, so she was nice. like, She was like, Play with me, Mommy. So we sat there and played with Play Doh. And I was like, I'm the baby, you the Mommy. And so she was like, Okay, what you want, baby? I said, I'm so sleepy, Mommy. I'm sleepy, sleepy. And she was like, Let's go to sleep, baby. So I went in my room, bitch. I played it off so quick. I was like, Sleep with me, Mommy. And so she was like, okay. And she let me lay on her chest. Girl, it was so cute. Because she's so animated because she be watching the YouTube videos. I bet. The YouTube tutorials she was doing on, like, on the makeup. Yeah. I think I had that shit. Girl, you saw me on the head. I said, oh, um. I said, uh. Okay, so more of the story. <laughs> Y'all said to apply. All the details. That is so long. Some details be cool, but you know, I text and I'm like, say okay. You know, Mike Brown, thank her. And we do our live audience and service, she was not supposed to be on the mic right now. I start to tell the cool down. You know, you're not even getting me. You're sitting here, aren't you? Nah, it, it's okay. <laughs> when, you, when you first came in, I was like, and she was like, kind of scoop. She was making one with me. That's you know, I said, I don't know, we had an extra. Right. <laughs> These beans are good to show. You made me try. Uh-huh. No, I made those. They were actually cooked before he even got there. He just made the potato salad, and I was, like, giving him a hard time about it, because I'm real finicky about potato salad. And I just don't like, some people put so much shit in their potato salad. And I'm just used to my mom. But his was good. It was good. I can't say it wasn't. I just, he put relish and stuff. 
I really don't care for it too much because it makes it too tangy. It takes away from the taste. I don't even like potato salad. Like yeah, so. Girl, but Sydney fucked that potato salad up, honey. And then he put like um, fresh cut um, egg on top or whatever. It was like the extra bald egg. So Sydney was like, I want some more. They should have fucked some eggs up. Oh. Yeah, those those baked beans, they, they say vegetarian on the pan because they don't have any like additives or pork or um, any type of meat in them at all. So you know you can buy the ones that come with those. Can't tell you my secret recipe about it. Now this is the thing. I've been trial and erring certain food because next year I plan to open a restaurant. Yeah, I want to open it. Sports Not, No, more of like a soul food Cajun house, like a Cajun kitchen. Here? Yeah. No. At least Yeah. Rebella. Oh. Yeah. I forgot we were still alive. But, um, possibly, yeah. Uh, if not here or whatever, I, I can really you do open it. in a restaurant. I just, yeah, I just definitely want to do that. Cause I just, always, it's always been in my family's desire to want to open a restaurant. So I think, I think it would be cool. That's okay. So what is gonna go in these beans? So okay, so that's um, that's bushes vegetarian style blend <laughs> with. Um, that's turkey, ground turkey. Um, so it's onion, bell pepper, and onion, bell pepper. So you saute it together with the turkey, season it up or whatever. I season it along with Tony Saturdays and garlic powder. And then, um... You don't use garlic? Hell no. Isn't it Tony? Oh, no, ma'am. I don't use flowers for nothing. It's salty. I don't like salt. And, um, and then after that, I, uh, when I, when I add the Sweet Baby Ray Sweet and Spicy barbecue sauce to the beans, and then I put, like, four or five tablespoons of, of pure honey, a cup, not a full cup, but, like, I don't make it, so it'd be, like, sugar, and then sugar, regular sugar. You could use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. We are back live in the ladies' room. I just killed these beans that Bella made. She was giving me, you know, her little secret recipes off air. I think Mike was coming back in. Um, he had to go and review his generous parts. <laughs> and it looks like now he's back walking in and we are live, Michael. And we are now in our hot topic. So we are going to get into some tea on um, some things coming up that have been going on actually.